So you're already a little bit familiar with this section. I wanted to go a little in depth. So first, let's actually transfer over here for better light. This is an Olmec Ancient Jade. Very, very old. We'll transfer back. I have a call. I have to bring them over here again. Now my black crystals, I always struggle with. For example, up top here, I should probably bring them down. I have this penguin, which is symbolizing finding my soulmate, because penguins stay with one mate forever. <laughs> yes, George. George is also my life partner. <laughs> so I struggle to know sometimes if it's tourmaline, obsidian, or jet. I'm going to get to that other stuff over there in a moment. I have my selenial light and then selenial light. <laughs> or should I say selenial light light? <laughs> and my selenial light wands for when I do readings. Now I have this really cool artifact from Wolf Creek. It's a pretty fascinating specimen. Bought this for 75 bucks at the museum. I'm going to show you a little better lighting. That specimen's pretty cool. Then salt lamp and green calcite. And right now I have my amethyst crystal ball on my crystal ball holder from the museum. And I'll transfer you over here. So this is basically my entire crystal rock collection. I'm sure I have other crystals hidden places. And then this is what I use for my crystal grids now. I just picked this up at Casadega. Love this piece. Thank you, Aqua Dude. So I do plan on making a little grid before I leave to charge it inside the sunlight. Now this is like runes. I'm not really familiar with runes. It's like I got some beach sand on there too. I also have my uh, little marbles of amethyst. Now this is a necklace I made filled with uh, all my charms from where I've collected amber, awesome woman riding the moon. Now this piece is lovely. I love this collection actually. And I made a very special essential oil mixture and it smells to die for. This piece I picked up with my grandma at SeaWorld. I've had it for a long time. It's kind of more sentimental than anything. I made this with hematite beads and carnelian beads. I picked this piece up, I want to say in Miami. Yes, at um, something with an F, an amazing Miami shop. She closed down and that's where the crystal ball that was stolen from me was from. This is an official one too, old school. This was my grandfather's. And then this is said to be garnet, or I'm sorry, ruby. I picked this up at the museum as well. This used to have a crystal in it. It kind of makes me want to cut the whole thing and start over. It was a clear quartz. Now this is a mermaid. I picked up from Possum Posse and it's holding Rose Quartz. Now this was one of my favorite tarot cards. It's about entrepreneurship and starting your own business essentially and working hard. Really awesome piece of amber I picked up from the tarot card reader who kind of pushed me to do it professionally. And then my yin yang. Picked that up from someone magical I actually met at the museum who used to send me goodie boxes all the time. Now let's see if I can remember all my crystals. Aquamarine, 
This is Jade. This one I don't even know and I have to tell you when I don't know what my crystals are I like to give them away or make crafts with them. So that's going to have to be set aside. <laughs> this is Snowflake Obsidian from my understanding. Pretty sure that's it. I'm going to have to research that stone. Hint, hint. All my homework slaves. <laughs> Raw form of Peacock's Ore. See if I can find the other specimen I have. Mm, where art thou? Here's one. So those are magical. Now, here's another one I don't really know what it is. It might be Tiger's Eye. I don't know. That's another one that will be added to a project or giveaway. This is definitely Tiger's Eye. Let's see if I have any more. Not seeing any others. I do have another aquamarine. Purchased two specimens. I do love Tiger's Eye. They're very powerful. Might have to use some of those today. This is the only turquoise I have. Hoping it's a real specimen. Can be hard to tell sometimes. Raw form of one of my favorite crystals. Um, you've probably seen me wear it a couple times. Perido. One of my all time favorites. I picked this one up in California. I actually bought every specimen they had and then I gave away the rest. Hmm, let's see what else we have here. I have no idea what this is. I know it came from Salem. Pretty sure it's one of those. Angelite, something like that. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I purchased all these crystals and I just never know what they are. So that's going to have to go in that pile. Now I don't know what this is. Yet yeah, I've always chosen to hold on to it. I'd have to go to someone who really knows their crystals to kind of work with me. Like, what's this one? Is this... Malkavite? <laughs> I have no idea. I know that this is Opalite. And I should have two specimens of that. However, I'm not seeing the other one. Oh, there it is. Bingo. Opalite. These I handpicked, if I'm not mistaken, from Salem. I really want to go back to Salem. That's definitely on my list. All right, Smoky Quartz. I'm sure I have other specimens here of Smoky Quartz as well. Getting uh, down to the bottom of my crystal collection. Lots of Peridot. This was 50 bucks. Just for this tiny specimen. If not a hundred. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got two for a hundred. But I have another one of these in my purse. So I'm not really sure which is which anymore at this point. <laughs> this is supposed to be petrified wood. I love this. Like George loves that blinky over there. Camera's being mean about focusing. There we go. Amethyst. Amethyst. Now, is this amethyst? <laughs> Why is there white in it? What does that mean? Where's those? Kyanite. Blue kyanite. Then I have black kyanite. I love my copper specimen. I believe this was 40 bucks. I love it. 
Oh, this one's easy. Oh. <laughs> Aventurine. I've given a lot of these away. I think this is like one of the only ones I have left. I had it in Aventurine and Carnelian. I was supposed to sell these for a dollar a piece when I bought them from the woman who had the shop in Miami. Now, this is another favorite crystal of mine. <laughs> Mentioned it before. Carnelian. I like my carnelians. I also love amber. Pick this piece up off eBay. I love this one. Now, hematite. Pretty big specimen. For some reason, this feels appropriate to be a big centerpiece for this today. Don't really remember all of its meaning. Here's another black stone. I'm pretty sure this is a piece my father picked me up in Costa Rica. Again, I don't know my black stones very well. In fact, I could show you all the different <laughs> black stones I have here, and I'm not sure which is which. Well, I suppose I should leave that there. Mm, see if I can find anything else. Whoop. Those are garnets. So those aren't really black, but... Ah. Okay, so some of these are what's called... Here, let me set these aside, all those garnets. Um, like this, and this. These are Apache Tears. Pretty sure that's also tourmaline or obsidian or something like that. It's one of those <laughs> there, I found out, actually. And then... I know one of these are Shungite, and then this is Black Tourmaline for sure. Definitely would like to do more homework on crystals, if not take a crystal class. This is what's called Fool's Gold. Then we have Citrine, Moonstone. I want to say jade. This is what's called a phantom quartz. It's supposed to help you connect with spirits. That was given to me as a gift. Clear quartz. Uh, green opal, I believe. I have pictures somewhere to prove what it is. Um, this is Ruby and Fuchsite. I was madly in love with this. I picked this one up at Sphere. And then I have Green Calcite. More Peacock's Ore. This is Sodalite. This is something magical that has like five crystals in one. I forgot what this one is. <laughs> I'm really bad about that. This is Bismuth. Remember that. Mm, peach Moonstone. Smoky Quartz. I want to say Moonstone again. And the rest I'm kind of stuck. I know this is supposed to be a dinosaur tooth. Picked that up at Spooky Empire. And then I picked up all these green stones. And I forgot what they are also. Uh, I should have pictures somewhere. I'm really bad about that. I have homework to do. I don't want to let them go, though. So even though I don't really know what they are, I don't want to really treat them like the way I've treated other crystals. I don't know what they are, like I was planning on treating these. So perhaps I should hold on to these for a bit until it feels appropriate to let them go. More of these. I have no clue what they are. I love this one. This is also a large specimen I purchased for my father. I think it's kind of expensive. But this is a small specimen I picked up for myself. Don't know what this is. I'm going to have to go to Sphere and a couple other places and try to figure out what some of these are. My video is getting pretty long and I'm running out of time and I don't really know what all these are. I know this is fluorite. <laughs> and watermelon tourmaline. Blue calcite. 